Today on FAQ Fridays, we're going to be discussing how to properly tighten and torque S5 clamps. My name is Curtis Ward. Today I'm back with Sean Haddock to discuss proper installation tips with S5 products. Thanks Curtis and welcome you all back. Happy Friday and uh, hopefully watching these videos is helping you out in the field to better use our products, better install our products, ultimately saving you time and money. So there are a lot of different tools that one could use while installing our products onto a metal roof and our product support team gets asked the question a lot of what exactly do I need to torque my clamp set screws to and do I have to check every clamp for torque? So Sean, with your background as an installer, I'm certain you have some tips on how to properly install, tighten, and verify the torque on the S5 set screws. Yes, Curtis, I've had plenty of experience with this in the field. Ultimately, the biggest thing is if you want to rely on our tested holding strength, you've got to have the clamps torqued to the proper settings. These values are published right on our website at s5.com. Um, ultimately, we tested 115 inch-pounds and we have recommended of 130 to 150 on 24 gauge. And on 22 gauge steel, we test to 150 inch-pounds but recommend 160 to 180 inch-pounds. Additionally, S5 offers a variety of tools to make your life easier on the job site. But before we get into all of those, let's get into proper tightening and torquing of S5 clamps. Sounds great. So now why is it important to reach proper torque when installing S5 clamps? It is important to reach the proper torque with our clamps because the torque we recommend is what's required to dimple the seam and create that clamp to seam interlock. Once that mission is accomplished, the torque may relax a bit over time without affecting the holding strength of the part. We also use factors of safety in our published allowable holding strength to compensate for any relaxation in torque over time. On a snow retention design, you're trying to meet certain loads coming down that roof. And in order to withstand those loads, you've got to rely on a tested holding strength. Well, that holding strength is tested at 115 inch pounds, as I mentioned before. So if you don't torque to our recommended 130 to 150 inch pounds, where you're gonna get better compression to the panel, you're not going to have the same holding strength. If you don't reach our recommended torque specs, the assembly has a potential for failure and nobody wants that. And what happens when the assembly does fail can be seriously detrimental to your roof panel. On a solar array, you're trying to resist uplift. And the same thing follows. If you don't reach our recommended torque specs, you're not going to achieve the same holding strength as what is published. So when I'm on the job site, do I need to check the torque on every single set screw on a, each clamp that I install? Absolutely not. When we developed S5 clamps and S5 products, we wanted them to be easy. By checking every fastener, that's not easy. If correct torque was reached at installation, the job is done. You only need to check torque to make sure your screw gun is delivering torque adequately and continuing to do so. So every 100 to 200 clamps is enough to be sure that the tool is delivering the 130 to 150 inch pounds. More frequently, if the gun is, is failing or faltering, has a low battery, um, the purpose of that recommended torque is to create and maintain the mechanical interlock between the clamp and the seam. Another way to know is, is basically looking at your screw depth. You know, when you're out on a project and you've tightened 100 of these clamps, you, you've got a pretty good feel for how deep that screw is into the clamp and where it should be. So you mentioned visually inspecting the clamp. Can I visually check to see if the clamps are actually torqued properly? Well, that's kind of a, a trick question. The fact of the matter is you can look at a clamp and be sure that it's not tight. Um, and you can look to see that it's tight, but you'll never know if it's truly torqued. If you're on a project where you're working and you've been checking with your torque wrench, then it, you've got a good feel for whether or not it's tight. But if you're walking up to a project for the first time, and you try to look at a set screw and say, ah, oh, that looks good enough, you really gotta check with that dial torque wrench to know. A key thing with a clamp is, if I see set screws like this, I know that that is not tight. 
If I see them flush with the clamp body where they're threaded in a little more but they're flush, I know that's not tight. What you want to see is you want to see a deep recess into the clamp and often you can look at the side of the panel and see that it's dimpled to know that it's at least tight. So you briefly touched on this, but will I have to go back up onto the roof in order to retorque any set screws throughout the life of the clamps? Well, in the 27 years S5 has been in business, we've never had a case where set screws have actually backed out. The purpose of checking torque is to make sure you're reaching the recommended torque specs so that you create and maintain that mechanical interlock that we've talked so much about. Um, it takes more torque to create that interlock than it does to maintain it from that point forward. Once you've dimpled that panel material, you're, you're good. Well, the goal is that, that you never have to do that. We want a low maintenance product out there. The beauty of an aluminum clamp is that it oxides over time. And it really doesn't take that long, but what that oxide does is give you basically a natural Loctite on that fastener. So, no, you don't have to check every one. And I've seen projects out there where the AHJ requires a hand torque of every single fastener. And we never really intend for that, but sometimes you have to do what the governing authority says you have to do. Well, thank you, Sean, for all the great tips. I'm certain that this is gonna help a lot of people. Yeah, thank you. And thank you all for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more great resources. If you have a question that you want answered, comment down below. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next Friday. If you don't reach the tested torque. <laughs> to ask the question of what, God dang it. Now you guys are making me nervous. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, you're fine. I had plenty of experience with, with this in the field. And, um. <laughs>